Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bowl and Sound Productions. Today I'm going to be focusing on working with Melodyne and correcting pitch with Melodyne and how I do that. Um, I already have Melodyne loaded and I've already loaded in um, a good portion of the uh, vocal already. And um, there's one of two ways that I'll do Melodyne. So sometimes I'll import a vocal into here pressing the transfer button and you just let it go by and then I will select all and sometimes I'll just use this icon um, which basically will move the pitch into ex its exact grid mode and if you double click it will all automatically go right there um, which is pretty cool because then you just do everything all at once however the vocal on this song is um, it's meant to be kind of raw, so I don't want to correct it 100% like that. And that's not necessarily 100% like pitch correction. That's just basically putting the notes that are on there to the grid. Now if you look, if I zoom in, you can actually see that a lot of these have, um, you know, the little lines right here. That's showing the pitch drift and, uh, you know, the different ways that the pitch is going. And it's not going to make it sound auto-tuned by doing that by any means. Um, you can make it sound that way if you went to this pitch modulation tool and then you double clicked it, boom, and then it's all just pretty straight. But um, this is kind of like a more raw country song. I don't want it to sound like T-Pain. So there's multiple uses you can use for Melodyne. I've been using Melodyne for about 10 years now and um, I love it. It's my go-to. Um, so for this song, let's see, I'm actually going to be I've actually already, uh, let's see if we can get this back to a normal, uh, there we go, waveform size there. Um, I've already corrected the pitch a little bit. I usually correct my pitch around 80% if I do it this way, which um, basically instead of moving the uh, little blobs here as they call them, um, exactly to the grid, I'm moving it 84% on the grid. So it's still a little rough and still a little raw. I mean, um, 84 sounds great. And what's also cool is that you can um, snap to the... Mel Melodyne's um, intelligent enough, this is Melodyne Editor, by the way, to um, identify what key the song is most of the time. Uh, about 80-90% to of the time it'll get this right. Um, in this case, when I clicked on snap to C minor, it, uh, it really locked in nicely. Sometimes it might identify like a third or a fifth or whatever the, um, the key of the song is actually in. So I already have this in 84% and I like the way that sounded. Let me give you a little sample of how it sounds so far. Sweetwater, Texas. 1967 Life was black and white Now keep in mind, I haven't actually moved anything around or changed pitch modulation or anything or, you know, pitch drift here, which is what I'd use this tool for. So let's keep listening through so you can kind of see what it's doing and not doing. But her hers was black and blue Let's see what that sounds like with this on bypass, that line. But hers was black and blue. So it sounds pretty good. The pitch correction's not really doing much to that line. One line I'm pretty sure I heard it do a lot on was um, right here at uh, 11. Life was black and white. Life was black and white. It's subtle, but it's doing enough so that it, uh, it's more comfortable to listen to, for sure, while it's going by. Um, let's just keep going through here. Married with three children. See what sound, that sounded like without Melodyne on it. Married with three children. So it sounds pretty good. He's singing it pretty much to the grid. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a cushion. Um, going up here is where I started to notice the spirit. Some funniness going on. The spirit of the wind whispers your name. And now here it is with Melodyne on. The spirit of the wind whispers your name. So that's a lot more right where we want it. 
Um, the only problem we have right now is uh, this part right here. Sometimes when Melodyne imports certain um, um, information, it will connect it all together. And right here, we need to create, if you right click, you can get your tools here, um, a separation to create another note here. Because it didn't, it's actually right there, and we want it to, boom, create its own note so we can uh, do what we want with it. The trick is just finding where to go on the um, grid. Also, the grid is aligned, as you can see, with you know the uh, all the notes right here. Grenade. Something cool I like about Melodyne too is that when you double click on it, it will click, it will um, play soloed from where you're clicking. And whispers your name. So that's a pretty cool feature. Whereas if you just press spacebar, the spirit of the wind, it'll go back to wherever the um, the current uh, marker is aligned in Pro Tools where to start playing from. So right now we want it queued up to about 43. This is the and whispers your name. So we don't want it to go all the way down there. It would sound kind of cool, but I know that's not what uh, this artist was going for. This is uh, Ron Christopher, again, the country artist I'm working with. And whispers your name. That's way more in the ballpark of what we want. Definitely want this to go. Well, I'm going to double click this so it goes right up there because that's pretty much where I want it. Um, double clicking is a very useful tool instead of just, you can also hold option and uh, kind of go, you know, in between right where you want it. Um, so let's see how that sounds. And whispers your name. Much better. And whispers your name. As you can see right here, there's a little sharp, so let's bring that down. Now notice I didn't modulate it flatter, I just kind of bended the note so that the front end of it went more down into the grid where we want it. This is an extremely useful tool for not making th things sound overly tuned. Whispers your name. Now the timbre is a little bit too low right there, so we can change this with the format tool. And uh, the problem is I just want it right here at the beginning of that note. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, separate this so that I have more flexibility with it. Joe, it to be there. Now I can use the format tool. So just bring this up a little bit. your name. Awesome. Joe, whispers your name. Your name. And whispers your name. This still sounds a little funny. Let's see if we can mess around with it a little more. Uh, with the format tool, it's kind of tricky, so I usually like to go back to where it originally started because once you have it up or down, it's where you can't. I, it's really hard to get right back down to where it originally was. Um, use undo a lot in Melodyne if you're using it. And whispers your name. Whispers your name. Definitely sounds a lot better like that. Whispers your name. So now I would find out the modulation just slightly. Whispers your name. Whispers your name. Whispers your name. So we, that's sounding a lot better towards what we want for that part. Whispers your name. Whispers your name. Also, another thing that I really like about um, Melodyne Editor is uh, this feature right here. When you're in this button in the toolbar, if you go down, you get this little icon here. Basically, what that will do is control this little guy there, and. You know, if you want to sound more pitch corrected, by all means, make it have a steep slope so that you just hear it like this. And whispers your name. Sometimes you get away with it and it sounds fine, but sometimes it just doesn't sound smooth at all. In this case, you know, this is more of a raw country song, so we want to make it sound very smooth between. This is the uh, kind of the drift between the two notes. Whispers your name. Sounds flawless. Sounds like we didn't even touch it. That's why I love this tool because it's um, it really comes in handy when things are starting to sound too corrected, especially 
if you're doing the highlight double click method, uh, this tool is extremely crucial. Another thing you can do if you're doing the highlight double click method um, is you can highlight the entire thing. And uh, let's say you double clicked. You can go here and move all of these at the same time. So, you know, that's pretty crucial too. Okay, let's keep moving along. Whispers your name, mm, whispers your name, mm, whispers your name. I want to modulate this guy just a little bit. Name, mm, whispers your name. Your name, mm, whispers your name. Whispers your name. Whisper, mm, whispers your name. So you notice here, I double clicked it and I brought it up just slightly, holding down Option and uh, just bringing it up just a tiny bit. Melodyne is a lot easier to use it if you're using a trackball mouse, which is what I'm using right now. Um, you can get really micro with the increments, um, which is great. It's a very subtle tool and um, it comes in handy. So you can't just go around double clicking all these blobs because um, as you can see the little lines in there, they, they behave completely different than the one before it or after it. So sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you need to micromanage and go up and down just very slightly. Mm, whispers your name Sweet Sarah Faithful to your memory that's a little bit too sharp there. I mean, we could probably get away with it, but um, let's go in there and see if we can make it just sound, you know, slightly better. Your memory, all to your memory, all to your memory, we remain. All to your memory, all to your memory. Just leave this one to your memory, all to your memory, we remain. Definitely want, we're definitely going for more of a raw sound on this song, so I don't want to overcorrect it too much. Keepers of the flame, till we gather, till, till we gather, till we gather. Once again, once again. So right here, we need to make sure that note goes all the way up mm. to the A. Once again. again once again at the river where the sweet water flows river where the, where the sweet water flows water flows the sweet water flow water flows water flows the sweet water flows so that's a lot better than the way it was it had that little swoop up at the beginning of the note it's a lot smoother to listen to now. Let's keep going. The sweet water flows In a future so sublime Some place, somewhere in time We will meet Where the sweet water flows We will meet Where the sweet Water flows. Awesome. So I like the way all that vocal came out. That's all the way up to verse three. 
So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I like to um, print Melodyne instead of bouncing it. So basically I'm going to create a new vocal track and I'm going to bus. I have one created here called Melodyne Print. Bus Melodyne Print. And if uh, you're wondering how to create, you know, your buses to be titled like this, I'll show you real fast. Setup, IO, bus. You would click on that. Um, you go to new path. You select whether you want it mono or stereo. In this case, we want our, our bus um, mono. So we do that, we scroll down to the bottom and it's there. I've already created it, that's why the one's next to it. And we do not link it to the output. So in this case, I'm just gonna delete this for now. And then you press okay, and then you have it right here. So basically, then we can just move our plugins down to the new audio track. Make sure your output is set to the Correct output. In this case, I'm going to my vocal master bus. I title my tracks vocal PR for print. This one is printed. And make sure you solo these. Boom. Sweetwater, Texas, 1967. Okay, so that's how you would, uh, you know, use Melodyne and then uh, bounce to another track, or not bounce, print to another track. And uh, yeah, so that's all for this video today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, leave a like, um, and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be having new videos every week. Thanks for watching, guys.